My name is Rowan Schaefer. I came down here from Vancouver, BC, but I have just moved from New Orleans. I wanted to teach a unit that was addressing climate change with my students. I feel that's a topic that can't wait for them to be older, for them to learn about, and I don't think that they need to. I modified the mixer to be a performance, so each student took on the role of people who are real people, real activists from around the world who have been affected by climate change. But by doing this performance, they really took on those characters and felt very passionate about what was going on. Friends, they're coming from all over to hear from you. It's your responsibility to share um, these real people's voices today. Um, I talked about how as an audience, um, you have a responsibility from what you hear to share what you hear as well, and so that's how I introduced the handout to them. So my name is Trio Bullock. I go by Mr. Tree with my students. I'm a science teacher at Madison High School. As a response to the climate justice uh, resolution that was passed last spring at Madison uh, for a district, we made a commitment as part of our chemistry all for really um, centering most of our chemistry work around climate justice and understanding climate destabilization. The summative project, we asked every student to take on a role um, in doing research, taking personal direct action in some way. Um, some of that varied in making personal lifestyle change, participating in uh, marches, writing letters to policymakers. Um, and then we also had a climate justice fair where every student um, represented the story of a climate warrior. So we're really fortunate at Madison to have a pretty strong commitment to restorative practices and restorative justice in our building. This dovetails with restorative justice work that we're committed to at Madison, um, where we're really creating a circle culture where students bring out their own personal experience um, in warrioring up in their lives. And it really felt like um, we transcended our institutional norms into really creating community and reaching out and connecting with our community in a really meaningful way. What is climate change, you may ask? Well, we're here to tell you. Climate change is the act of global warming, which is the heating of our atmosphere caused by the emission of greenhouse gases. Greenhouse Methane, the primary component of natural gas and the second biggest contributor to greenhouse gases. In 2012, 61 million metric tons of greenhouse gases were emitted in Oregon. on this issue has been the most powerful voice that we've heard in the city. Dear Governor Brown, these Valentines are from students at Sunnyside Environmental School. We're the education group and we have made our own curriculum. We are doing a greenhouse gas analysis of our school. My name's Tucker Holston. I'm a uh, senior at Lincoln High School in the environmental justice class. Um, hello, my name is Yala Ita, and I'm a senior from Roosevelt High School. Um, just a few weeks ago, we were able to have Kathy Jetnell Kitchener come to our school and speak on climate change. Um, not only did she speak about climate change, but she talked about um, Pacific Islander youth nowadays. And it was just such a blessing. I, I use that word blessing in such a big term, but. Um, as a young Pacific Islander woman, I have never in classrooms, sorry, it just gets me so emotional, but I have never learned about climate change in any of my classrooms, science, history, and the effects it has on the Pacific Islands. Um, my people are having to evacuate their homes, these islands that generations before us have found um, because of this issue, and not many know about this about how it really affects my people. And um, 
this piece that I wrote about um, was inspired by Kathy. Um, I also do poetry, but um, just being able to hear her and in this workshop really um, influenced me to write a piece about climate change. <clears throat> she stands in the ocean, taking in her surroundings, reminiscing of this island she calls home. The next morning, she makes her daily offerings into the ocean, whispering, are you a friend or a foe? Please spare us some more time. I'll climb to the highest peak with my people on my back, if that is what it Where takes to find Pico. The water rises, the water to, rises her to her head. She is ready to surrender into the sea, yet she hears the chants of her people from afar, screaming, we will not go, we will stay, we will plant our feet into the earth. She, too, will plant her feet into the earth. She is staying on this island. Thank you. Hi, thank you. I think a, a takeaway is definitely um, when you have high expectations for your students, they will rise to that challenge, absolutely. Um, I knew that they could interact with this uh, content, but they took it to a whole other level. Uh, they memorized their scripts, they went home and did their own research, looked up videos, brought in props, had, were much more involved than I thought they were going to be um, because I brought in something that they cared about. Alberta district anymore. A lot of them have been pushed out east and what I think in my own personal experience as a, as a student one of the most painful things I felt was um, a lack of opportunity to really contribute to the community and use our time in school to be constructive at solving some of our community challenges. I'm really hoping that the free time and energy that young people have and the challenge that we're all facing together can really interact creatively to move uh, opportunities for the students to do service work, for community members to service mentors and uh, create more collaboration so that our communities can really strengthen themselves as um, we build a sustainable future. To me, it's uh, about intersections. Um, yeah, I really think um, about it as connecting so many issues all together. Climate justice involves housing, it involves health care, it involves racism and environmentalism. The work that Kathy uh, Jetnell Kidgener has done in our classes um, in our environmental justice and sustainability class at Lincoln are only two examples of the work being done in the district to advance climate justice education. Um, and we would just like to take this time to thank you because not many other places in the country right now would be able to pass such a bold agreement um, to get such necessary education into our schools. Um, and we recognize that that's extremely unfortunate because climate change is the most important issue that we are going to face in our generation and that humanity has ever faced. Um, and to not have like sufficient science education and sufficient education about environmental justice and all the risks posed by climate change and what we need to do about it, um, that's just like tan tantamount to decades ago, students just not learning about the Cold War while it was going on. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It's the issue of our time. Um, and we'd just like to thank you once again. Thank you to the board for helping to make PPS a national leader in climate justice education. Uh, we hope that PPS continues in this direction and like furthers these goals and that it spreads to other districts across the country.